Hey YouTube, what's up? This is We All Juggle Knives with another knife review. Now this knife you see before you is the uh, ER271OC. Okay, from Elk Ridge. Current price tag is $30. Now the OC stands for Orange Camo. They have several other models with different color handle scales. The black handle scale uh, version of the knife is actually only $23 currently. Okay, so this is actually a high-value knife that surprised me. All right, a little size comparison for you. From the left, that is the Browning Kral Barker Competition Chopper, a knife I have previously reviewed uh, actually years ago. Note the similarity of the blade shape. All right. Uh, now that Browning, the price tag is over $100. Okay, so this is like a poor man's version of that Browning knife. All right, and the Elk Ridge in the center, and then next to the Elk Ridge is the uh, K-Bar BK9. And the blade length on the Elk Ridge is 9 and 1 quarter inches by my measurement. A closer look at the blade, yeah, awesome blade shape on this. It's got a satin finish. All right, it is marked up because I was batoning and chopping. I have tested this. Full tang construction. Yeah, solid construction. All right, at this point, let's roll in. Uh, some usage footage. It's going to be batoning, uh, making shavings, chopping. Cue up the feel good music. Okay, we are back. How did the knife hold up? It held up very well. I mean, I stabbed this uh, into pieces of wood hard enough to flex the blade a little, and the tip survived. I was surprised how sharp this came. Even after the batoning, uh, it could make shavings no problem. It's a very durable knife. I was surprised. All right, you see the handle there? Kind of a boxy handle, slightly uncomfortable. My hands are medium large in size. Um, so it just felt like slightly um, too wide for my hand, but if you have a large hand or extra large, it should actually be perfect for you. Okay, perfect if you have a large hand. Here is the sheath. Now, the sheath is what you would expect, okay? In other words, very cheap. You see the belt loop there, uh, button closure retaining strap. It does hold it in, but it's exactly what you would expect. You know, it's a nylon sheath and it's just super cheap. I mean, that's, you know, for the price, it's all right. Okay, here it is next to the browning uh, knife. Now, you might wonder, why is the browning like three to four times as expensive when they look very similar? Okay, it pretty much all comes down to the steel. The browning uses a high carbon steel. The Elk Ridge uses a cheap stainless steel. And also, the browning has a convex edge. Okay, and the browning has a nice leather sheath, and really those are the only reasons that it's like three to four times as expensive. Okay, final thoughts on this blade. Well, 
you know, it's not the ultimate knife. I mean, obviously, it's a budget blade. You're not going to jump into the Amazon rainforest with your $23 blade. Okay, we all understand that. However, most people are just casual weekend campers. So for most people, if you just wanted an XL size camp knife, heck, why not? Why not? I mean, it, yeah, it's not a super steel, but it's going to be really easy to resharpen because it's not like, you know, ultra, ultra hardened. All right, so as a budget blade, yeah, I do recommend it. I mean, it's pretty impressive for the low price, really. All right, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.